you might know this already, but I have quite a few piercings. My piercings are kind of what my YouTube channel was started on, me talking about piercings and ear stretching. Um, and I realised recently that I haven't ever done a video where I just tell you all the piercings I have. I'm going to give you a rating out of 10 for each piercing for pain. The first thing you need to know when it comes to rating piercings out of 10 for pain is they're going to be totally different for everyone. They're going to be completely different for you than they were for me, but at least if you know how much they hurt me, you can compare my experience with other people's experience and get maybe a more overall view. Let's go. I'm going to go from the bottom up. So I have my labrette. So my labrette, I would say, hurt me about a 4 out of 10. It was a sharp pain, but nothing too bad. My Medusa, originally when I first had it pierced it was probably about a 6 out of 10, it was quite painful um, and then I removed it and when I had it pierced for the second time it was around a 9 out of 10, extremely, extremely painful, it hurt me a lot. My tongue was my first ever proper piercing uh, apart from my earlobes and uh, my tongue was um, a zero. Uh, it did not hurt me at all, I could not feel my tongue piercing. Next is my septum. My septum I would say was a slightly more painful, perhaps an 8. Uh, it wasn't as bad as my Medusa, but it was a painful piercing. Um, it healed difficultly as well. It was crusty and whenever the bar would turn, it felt like it was shattered glass going through the piercing. My nostrils were pierced both on the same day. And my left side was about a 5 out of 10. My right side was about a 7 out of 10, slightly worse, probably because I was full of adrenaline, so it hurt more. My eyebrow, which I don't have anymore, but my eyebrow piercing was around a 3. Not too bad. On my left ear here, I have this industrial piercing. Um, it goes through my conch rather than my helix because my ear sits at a funny angle. My ear's kind of a C-shape. This is the top hole here. Um, hurt probably about 4 out of 10. And then the conch piercing here hurt um, around about 6 out of 10. It was slightly more painful. My tragus, which I had pierced on the same day, was about a 3. Barely felt that. Not too bad at all. My two low piercings here were different. Um, both of them I pierced with a piercing gun, which I own myself. Do not do that. Please don't pierce yourself with a piercing gun. You're a free person. You can do whatever the hell you want to do. Um, but I personally would suggest that you don't do that because they can be wonky. They can get infected. You can't properly sterilise a piercing gun. But if you want to know about how I did that, I will make a video for you. So let me know. But I pierced both of these with a piercing gun that I bought from eBay. My plugs... Um, pain for them is, I mean, that's not really something I can talk about, it's a completely, it's a total spectrum depending on each individual stretch, each of them hurt differently, so that's not something I'm going to go into in this video, um, it's just too long and complicated basically. My right ear, I've got, this is a Tragus 2 flat industrial piercing, which you can see here, I'm not sure how well that's showing up, but there you go, it sticks out like that if I push the bar out. Um, no. Um, that was a fairly painful experience. The tragus part, which was what he pierced first, was probably about 4 out of 10. And then the flat or conch part, a little higher up, which was much thicker, was probably around a 7. Um, I also had, on this side, a second earlobe piercing, which I also pierced with a gun, but um, recently, while it was healing, the uh, piece of jewellery fell out and I couldn't replace it because I wasn't at home. So that piercing closed up. I believe that that is everything. That is all of my piercings that I have slash have ever had. The only piercing that I've ever had that I no longer have was my eyebrow. My eyebrow piercing left a fairly bad scar. My camera's not good enough quality, I don't think, to show that scar. If you look on my Instagram, you'll be able to see a high quality photo of that and the scar. And also what I looked like while I had the piercing, if that's something that you're interested in. Piercings are definitely a process. Um, they're definitely something that takes a lot of effort, time and care and not something I would suggest you get unless you have, you know, the time uh, to deal with them because they can be volatile, they can heal badly. But there you go. If you want something similar for my tattoos, let me know. Um, I am planning on doing a video like this for my tattoos, but I haven't got to it yet because um, I still need a lot of work done on various... Uh, tattoos I have, they just need touching up and they need fixing etc and um, so I've not got to that yet but I will get around to it, I just want to wait till I move back home get them all fixed up and then I will do a video for you when they're all looking the way that they should be looking. I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please comment them I'll reply, I try to reply to everyone um, thank you for nearly a thousand subscribers, it's really exciting um, I hope you're enjoying my videos, let me know if you want to see anything, I'll see you in the future